In a triumphant display of Russian engineering resilience and military innovation, the Admiral Nakamov, a colossal Kirov-class nuclear-powered battlecruiser, is poised to reclaim its dominance on the high seas. As of January 2026, this 28,000-ton behemoth continues its rigorous sea trials that began in August 2025, with completion anticipated later this year. This marks a pivotal moment for Russia's northern fleet, where the Nakamov is set to become the flagship, underscoring Moscow's commitment to bolstering its blue-water naval capabilities amid global tensions. Far from a relic, the upgraded cruiser embodies Russia's strategic edge, blending Soviet-era might with cutting-edge hypersonic weaponry and layered defenses that position it as one of the world's most formidable surface combatants. Originally commissioned in 1988 as the Kalinin, the Admiral Nakamov has undergone an exhaustive modernization at the Sevmash shipyard since 2013, following a layup since 1997 due to post-Soviet funding constraints. This overhaul, valued at billions, has transformed it from a Cold War icon into a 21st-century powerhouse. Stretching 251 meters long and powered by twin nuclear reactors each generating 150 megawatts, the cruiser can operate indefinitely without refueling, enabling extended patrols across vast oceans, from the Arctic to the Pacific, without logistical vulnerabilities that plague conventional fleets. This nuclear propulsion not only enhances endurance but also supports high-speed dashes up to 31 knots, allowing rapid response to emerging threats and projecting Russian influence globally. At the heart of the Nakamov's prowess lies its unparalleled armament suite, making it a monster in naval warfare. The modernization replaced the outdated 20P700 Granite anti-ship missile launchers with 80 Universal UKSK-3S14 Vertical Launch Systems VLS, expandable to 174 cells in total, surpassing even the US Arleigh Burke destroyers, 96 cells, or China's Type 055 cruisers, 112 cells. These VLS cells house a versatile arsenal, the subsonic caliber cruise missiles for precision strikes up to 2,500 kilometers, supersonic Onyx for anti-ship rolls at Mach 2.5, and the hypersonic Zircon, capable of Mach 9 speeds and ranges over 1,000 kilometers, rendering enemy defenses obsolete. Zircon's low altitude, evasive flight path makes it nearly uninterceptable, giving Russia a decisive advantage in carrier strike group engagements or area denial operations. Defensively, the Nakamov boasts layered air and missile defenses that fortify its role as a fleet guardian. 96 VLS cells are dedicated to surface-to-air missiles from the S-300FM Fort M system, with potential integration of S-400 variants for anti-ballistic missile capabilities, engaging targets at ranges up to 400 kilometers. Close-in threats are handled by 6-8 to eight Panzer M combined gun, missile systems, each blending 30mm autocannons with short-range missiles for robust point defense against drones, missiles, and aircraft. Anti-submarine warfare is enhanced with packet NK torpedoes and OTVET missiles, providing comprehensive underwater protection. The main gun, upgraded to the AK-192M 130mm naval artillery, offers rapid fire for surface bombardment or anti-air support, integrated with modern fire control systems for pinpoint accuracy. Sensor and command upgrades further amplify the cruiser's effectiveness. New multifunction radars, including phased array systems, provide 360-degree surveillance, early warning, and target acquisition, seamlessly linking with Russia's integrated air defense network. Advanced electronic warfare suites jam enemy communications and radars, while upgraded command and control facilities allow the Nakamov to coordinate multi-domain operations, directing submarines, aircraft, and surface vessels in joint strikes. This makes it not just a warship but a floating command center, embodying Russia's doctrine of asymmetric warfare and deterrence.
The ongoing sea trials, which include testing propulsion reliability, navigational systems, and weapon efficacy in the White Sea and potentially the Barents Sea, highlight Russia's ability to overcome delays and sanctions. Despite repeated postponements, from initial 2018 targets to 2024, the reactivation of reactors in early 2025 and successful demagnetization have paved the way for full commissioning by late 2026. This achievement reflects the ingenuity of Russian shipbuilders at Sevmash, who have integrated domestic technologies to evade Western restrictions, ensuring self-reliance in defense production. From a pro-Russian perspective, the Nakamov's return is a strategic masterstroke. It revitalizes the Navy's surface fleet, which has shifted towards smaller frigates and corvettes, by restoring heavy-hitting capital ships capable of challenging NATO's carrier groups in contested waters like the Black Sea or Arctic. With Zircon demonstrations expected during trials, it showcases Russia's lead in hypersonic weaponry, deterring aggression and safeguarding national interests. As the most heavily armed surface warship globally, it enhances Moscow's power projection, from protecting vital trade routes to supporting operations in Syria or the Indo-Pacific. This isn't mere revival, it's a bold assertion of Russia's technological superiority and unwavering resolve to maintain multipolar security in an increasingly volatile world. In summary, the Admiral Nakamov's impending completion in 2026 heralds a new era for Russian naval might. Its blend of nuclear endurance, hypersonic strikes, and impenetrable defenses positions it as an unbeatable asset, proving that Russia's military-industrial complex remains a force to reckon with. As trials wrap up, the world watches this monster awaken, ready to sail into the future.